Hello and good day everyone! Today I just had to share some of the improvements made to the Nintendo Switch emulator Yuzu since I uploaded my simple setup video, and the difference to Super Mario Odyssey's visuals and stability is just amazing for such a short period of time. Right off the bat, you can see that it looks about a thousand percent better than before, and much closer to the actual Nintendo Switch console. There are still quite a few bugs here and there, and there seems to be a moderate performance hit, likely as the result of the improved visuals, but I am incredibly impressed with how far along this project has come in such a short period of time. That said, there are a few other changes worth mentioning. First and foremost, a save file is no longer needed to get in-game. I was able to just start it up and play, so I might make an update guide in the future. Mario can also enter buildings and die without the game crashing out, which makes the experience a lot more enjoyable. The Yuzu team has been teasing two-player support as coming soon, but as of the latest release, my game locks up when attempting to start it. Still, this gives us something to look forward to. The one thing I'd like to see implemented in the near future is a shader cache, as it would dramatically reduce judder and improve performance across the board. I've tested Kirby Star Allies, and while it boots, the game still crashes when attempting to start a story mode campaign, as well as Xenoblade refusing to load past the initial loading screen. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is finally booting in-game, but I haven't yet downloaded a file to test this. If you would like to see Zelda gameplay, just let me know in the comments below. Nintendo Switch emulation still has a long way to go, but I'm totally looking forward to seeing how things advance over the next year. Consider giving this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more frequent updates on Yuzu, or subscribe if you'd like to show your support. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.